Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the Aries Love Weekly for this week. It's going to be for October 25th up to uh, November 1st. Alright guys, so last full week of October, so let's get right into it. I'll pull out your oracle cards after the initial reading. And get right into your cards. All right, your person coming out this week with Nine of Swords, and you're coming in with Nine of Wands. They see you as Temperance. Aries, you see them as Eight of Pentacles. They desire Nine of Pentacles, and you desire Tower. And what needs to happen is Five of Pentacles, and we have Queen of Swords. All right, guys, so bottom of the deck, Nine of Wands. A lot of nines. Three nines we have. Nine of pentacles, nine of swords, and nine of wands. So it's a lot of like <clears throat> the final step, right? Going through the final step and a lot of things this week. Let me see if I can move these a little bit like that. All right, guys. So what do we have here? Really, uh, we're looking at um, some, some challenges this week, and I'll pull some more cards later on, but let's get right into it, Aries, this week. The first nine coming out, Nine of Swords, is for your person. So they're dealing with a lot of anxiety this week. Um, this is a look into a connection you have with somebody, right? So... Your person this week is dealing with a lot of regret, a lot of anxiety. They're, they're having some sleepless nights. There's something that's really vexing them this week. Now, you're dealing with Knight of Wands energy. Your energy is totally opposite from them. You're ready to go. You're feeling extremely fiery this week, enthusiastic. And there's a particular... There is a particular, um, I want to say, passion or issue or something that you are kind of championing this week that's really taking a lot of your focus and a lot of your fire and energy, right? Um, so this kind of, I want to say, this kind of uh, split here. We're going to get into it, but it's like... These are the energies you and your person are coming into the week with, regardless of the relationship, right? So how do you guys actually see each other this week? Um, here we get into a little bit more of what's going on. You're seeing your person as an eight of pentacles in you as temperance. So it could be a lot of their anxiety is something to do with work and money, finance, right? Because you're seeing them as an eight of pentacles, which is someone who is very sort of busy uh, working, focusing on work, someone who is being trying to be very disciplined, right? Um, and just focusing on, on, on that. You, however, uh, your person is seeing you as temperance energy. So they're seeing you as very much the rock this week. You're staying very centered, very focused. Yes, you're coming in as knight of wands. And it could be that this knight of wands is you really supporting your person, Aries. Um, but they're definitely looking at you as temperance. You're the tempered one. I almost feel like a frantic feeling coming off of your person this week. Uh, the one that you are connected, you know, the one that you are with in this connection. Certainly something to do with money. Now, what do you guys desire? Here we go. Here's the story really unfolding. What you des what they desire, what you desire. Aries, they desire, your person is desiring nine of pentacles. Well, nine of pentacles is right the next step up from the eight. So they really are working hard on a particular project, work, or business endeavor this week, okay? And what they really are working towards is abundance, right? Nine of Pentacles is abundance. It's mastery. It's the card for mastery, right? It's when it's, it's, it's the nine after the eight. So after all of this work you put in with the eight of Pentacles, right? All of this discipline, eight being the number for strength and boundaries. And when we uh, put boundaries on ourselves in order to accomplish something, that's, that's called discipline, right? When we restrict ourselves in order to focus on mastering something that is otherwise known as discipline. So after all of this discipline, Discipline and restrictions you've put in to master this thing, you desire, of course, the next step, which is mastery. The falcon is symbolic of mastery in the tarot in this particular card, especially uh, symbolic of clarity, focus, mastery. And then, of course, being in the garden of abundance and blessings and really, I want to say rewards coming in because these rewards, these pentacles that she's surrounded by are the pentacles that come in after putting that work in. Now you're desiring a tower moment, Aries. So this is quite interesting. Um, you want to shift, you want to shake up. There's something that you're wanting this week. Um, I want to say in this relationship, there's, so, uh, and it's interesting that the tower should come 
in a position of desire, because generally we, we would not associate the tower as something we desire, right? The tower moment is a real shakeup of what we believe to be true, the things that we've held on to, right? So uh, our belief of the world, ourselves, how we fit into it. And in this particular case, it will be whatever we've built up as our, our foundation for this connection, Right. So there's some there's a there's a foundation. There's a truth of, of what you see in this connection. That is your tower, but it's being torn asunder. So, Aries, it's interesting. There's something going on here in this relationship. And I think it has something to do with the money aspect. It could very well be that this financial aspect with your person is somehow impacting this connection and that you really want to shake up because of that. All right. Um, I'm going to pull some more clarifiers just to see. But what needs to happen in this connection? Your person really needs to get over a past hurt and for you to see clarity with that Queen of Swords. Now, it could very well be that um, this money issue is affecting this relationship because in the past there was an issue with money. Something about money or work or being able to provide, I want to say, or it could even be that your person is just one of these people who is extremely ambitious. Nine of Pentacles is generally someone who is very, very very ambitious. And it could be that um, Five of Cups, right? Your person needs to remember something. I almost feel like they did this before. They may have done this before, maybe not even in this relationship, but they may have done this in another relationship where there's fixation on money or perhaps this over sort of focus on money and, and, and working, right? I almost feel a workaholic vibe here, right? Especially with this Nine of Swords has, has, has led to a ruin of a relationship in the past. And I almost wonder if this is what's going on here, right? Um... And they really need to remember this, right? Because this was a big heartache for them, and this is what needs to happen. Five of Cups, it's, it's, it needs to happen in the sense that they need to remember the mistakes they made in the past. And it could be that this Nine of Swords, certainly I believe it's very much uh, related to their fear of what's going on with their work. But it really should be much more, uh, they should be much more thinking about how this sort of behavior that they've exhibited before has ruined perhaps even relationships before, maybe working to ruin this relationship also. Queen of Swords is here for you. So for you, it's very important, Aries, this week, if, certainly if you're resonating with this, that you find your truth. Queen of Swords is about, you know, connecting her heart chakra with her communication, her mind, her psyche, her personality, who she is, and not pulling any punches, not pretending to be something else, um, and being really honest with her feelings. In this way, she can be much more clear. Um, the Queen of Swords is all about being very, very brutally honest with yourself about who you are and what you want and absolutely requiring that from other people. But through that action, you can see that her, her throne is above the clouds, and that's symbolic of the clarity that she has. Because when you play a role, you pretend to be something that you're not. You wear a false mask. You also will not see or make decisions with the right kind of clarity. Um, let me bring in... The clarifiers, and at the end, I'm going to pull out your oracle cards. I'm finishing with the oracle cards from now on. And I'm trying to make these readings just a little bit shorter and more concise for you guys because I feel like everybody has so much to do these days, even with um, all of the restrictions and everything that's going on, especially in the U.S. We have elections. We have COVID. We have all kinds of stuff going on, and yet people are still very, very busy. So let's get on with the Aries. For this week, we're talking the last full week of October. Show me what's going on a little bit deeper in this reading for Aries. All right, guys. There we have seven of pentacles. So this is, again, pentacles, pentacles. Here we have eight of pentacles again and four of cups. So what's going on here, I want to say, is Aries, you're dealing with somebody definitely who whose work is interfering with this relationship, all right? So here we have more pentacles energy, but seven of pentacles is really the need 
or uh, the desire to reevaluate what it is you're doing with your life. Seven is the number for dreams and aspirations. And with seven of pentacles, we find ourselves sort of working in a certain field, working in a certain career that we believe is our dream. And we believe this is what we have always wanted, but we are finding that the rewards are not living up to all of the work that we've put into it. We really find um, it's a real crux. It's a real kind of crossroads moment. Seven of pentacles has been coming up for people all year. Let me see if I can get this focused a little bit better. Been coming up for people all year. All right. So a lot of us are reevaluating the work we're doing. We're reevaluating, you know, how we're working, all of that. Then we have eight of pentacles coming out again. So again, sort of like this I want to say, I, I said it before, it felt like we have a workaholic here. So Aries, you may indeed be dealing with a bit of a workaholic. Now, for some of you, this could be vice versa, right? But here, again, you see the fixation, right? Here, the person with both of them. Here, you can see the character, the, the, the uh, lady there. She's, like, fixated on her, I want to say, uh, her pentacles. She's polishing it. And it's just like, wow, you know... Sometimes there's this energy of this card can be different, of course, right? Depends on the reading. But here it just feels very oppressive. Like you're really dealing with somebody who is unhappy. They're not necessarily that even that happy with their work, right? But yet and still, it, it seems to be like they... Hang on, guys. Let me just fix my light a little bit. It's yet and still, it still seems to be like something they are absolutely obsessed with. And then you have four of cups coming in. So somebody's not accepting help. And they're not accepting your help. So this is what's going on here. Could very well be that you guys are just not, you know, there's a challenge here. That tower moment is coming in because there is a challenge in the way that you're able to interact with them. You could be dealing with someone, Aries, who is just, um, they're just not willing to accept your input. They're not willing to accept your help. And yet, without your help, they are drowning. They may not be doing as well as they think they I mean they they should right nine of pentacles is what they desire it doesn't necessarily mean it's realistic you could be dealing with somebody also who is working 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 and it's affecting their attitude so much that um you know in terms of you guys being together or being in this connection it's just completely knocking all the romance out and knocking all the affection out there's a challenge here we have spirit of the clover Put this up here. Spirit of the clover, spirit of Christ, and spirit of the giraffe. So, abundance, luck, perception. Uh, well, with the spirit of Christ, we have forgiveness, reconciliation, unconditional love. And with spirit of the giraffe, we have clarity, foresight, and advantage. So, yeah, there's love here, but I want to say that what's really affecting this connection is this obsession with work, this 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 issue with the work, with the business. You may even be in a business together, but it is definitely affecting this relationship in as much as you love this person. There is unconditional love probably there, um, but it's just like the romance is being killed. So there's a shakeup. This is why the shakeup is what you're asking for here with that tower card. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you um, got something out of this reading. I hope it gave you some clarity, even if it was a bit of a tough reading. Um, but for right now, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that. Don't forget to check out any of your monthly readings that I may have put up. I'm going to try to be putting more and more monthly readings up. And certainly as we're coming up to the end of the year, there'll be more uh, year readings for 2021 and finishing off the last quarter readings and all of that good stuff. But for right now, Aries, have a great week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell for notifications. And for right now, I'm just going to say bye-bye, y'all.